at the moment I need to think of like if to add any more to this because I may have sold the other painting which I'll put up on screen. I'm thinking for this painting if you look at the bottom which you're I'll show you I'll show you now and the bottom of it is all kind of one color and I want to have some more interest and flow within that and this painting was done I think like 2020 or even before that and sometimes you see stuff and think actually I can improve that now and I want to have that flow better so that will replace the other painting which is on one of the commission boards where they don't take too much in this gallery 20% 20, 20 so that's pretty good still and so far the proof is showing that I can talk about my work, I can connect to people, I can sell my work. I need to get sort of, after this gallery show you finishes in a week, get ready for the solo show which I want to get done and my book will be out in the summer and all these things, all these things I'm really wanting to make art a living and turning a hobby into a living is usually scary but it gives me more ideas, taking it seriously, trying to turn it into a professional artist rather than a hobby, which is absolutely fine. You can be a hobbyist and still have that mentality. But for me, turning it into a profession has given me more ideas that each feeds one another. Having the podcast that started, having the YouTube channel, having the socials, having the art, they all feed into each other to give ideas. So really excited for this. I've talked long enough, I think I'm going into podcast mode, but hopefully I've made it interesting with the imagery. Let's get this painting started after I watch a film and relax a bit because I'm tired. Right, let's go. Metal music and art, last little few little sparkly bits, which could take a while because I've got an idea, but I, don't, I want it to look like rain. With when you look at it, you can't see it, then it flickers. But it's looking so much better than when I started uh, about two years ago. It's been waiting to know what to do with it for that long. Okay, so it's much later than when I left you. The reason being that, well, mainly because you need to make sure I eat. And then I just watched a lot of films and yeah, pretty tired, but it will feel good to get this done. It means only give me like an hour, I just need to get into the zone. But first I need to find the gold paint and then it should take about an hour or two because it's mainly done this painting but i've just got an idea i want to have this gold headdress and this feeling of power and beauty and but first it's 9 30 let's get a coffee and music and get this thing done
walk, but it's about 20 past 11, and I've just got gold headdress to go. Um, looking back at the photos, it looks a lot brighter, a lot better, a lot more vibrant, and so it was worth doing. And I don't know why I chose now, but, well, I do know, because if the painting does sell and goes to a new home, I want to put it up on the board that evening without having to go back to the gallery. And ADHD hyperfocus thinking, I'll get done tonight, get to the gallery, and then crash on Monday. But I don't know, it's I, sometimes I get more done in a short space of time, but I just, yeah, it's just. But it feels good because you put music in, you've sewn out, you get in, into the flow, and. I'm normally a one o'clock in the morning kind of person any, anyway, so it's okay. I mean, I tried sleeping at normal times, but then I wake up just as tired and it's just not my natural rhythm. And yeah, why do people get up in the morning? Why, why is that a, why is that the, the default?